Just like many of you watching this video, before Godot, I used the Unity engine. It just goes without saying that Unity is one of the biggest game engines out there, with a big, thriving community and awesome tutorials to get started with. But why am I saying all of this? This was supposed to be a Godot tutorial, right? Not a why Unity is so great video essay. That's simple. Unity has a great feature, so easy to use, that in the other hand Godot just doesn't have. What am I talking about? The spreadsheet auto slicer. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the Godot engine for a thousand reasons. The upsides that Godot brought to me definitely outweighed this small downside by a long shot. But for a newcomer, this can be quite the choke point. Even more if they come from Unity, having the auto slicer I talked about at the beginning. Also, I have to note that there's kind of a sprite slicer built in Godot, with the region texture thing and whatnot, but either I'm too dumb to use it or just doesn't make the cut. Fortunately, there's another option. A great and free option. Today I present to you this called an ASU. The first thing we want to do is open up this call. Once it opens, you have to drag and drop the desired sprite sheet, click on import, accept, and then press B on your keyboard or select the paint bucket tool from the toolbar. You'll notice that the right click is a transparent color by default, so press right click in the background and it shall be gone. After that, you could tidy it up by erasing the little leftover pixels with a pencil tool, if there even are leftovers, but I'm not going to do that apart from the demonstration. When everything is finished, head to the right bar, select export, PNG and save it whatever you want to. Great! Now we have a transparent sprite sheet. So we head to ASU, which stands for Alfred Spreadsheet Unpacker. When it loads, we drag and drop our now transparent sprite sheet. Wait for the program to load, and you can see how it detects all of the sprites individually. Before selecting sprites to import, you have to change the export direction. So create a new folder, copy its direction, and replace the default one. You have the option to select all of the sprites that were detected, though I don't know if it's just me, but always gives me an error prompt. If that's the case, select the sprites you're going to use, and click on export. And that's it! Now we can head to our Godot project folder, export the sprites folder in it, and use them as individual sprites. I'll make an animation in Godot as an example. Let's try with another sprite sheet where the sprites are not detected correctly. As you see here, there are large chunks that are unsliced. So, how do we fix that? Easy. Head to the options bar and in the option distance between frames, select one instead of three. And there we go. As you may see now, the large chunks of sprites are gone. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful.